Top Store. The tiger that made national headlines is spending his first night in a new home. This is new video tonight at India inside of a transport trailer where he started his journey to the Cleveland Amory Black Beauty Branch. It's an animal sanctuary in Murchison, which is in North Texas near Tyler. KPRC 2's Bill Baraja spoke to the attorney for Victor Cuevas, who is contesting HPD's version of the tiger rescue. Hey, Bill. Well, Victor Cuevas, his attorney, maintains that his client and his client's wife are not the owners of that big cat, India, that was first spotted in this West Houston neighborhood, despite HPD's claims that they are. As for India, as you mentioned, he has been taken to a North Texas sanctuary where he is expected to live out his life. Well, we got him. And he's healthy. The week-long search ended about 24 hours ago. Nine-month-old India, seen here this morning, was picked up and taken to the Cleveland Amory Black Beauty Ranch. He will be introduced into a half-acre, naturally wooded habitat with a pool, trees, platform. India turned over by his owner, who at this time is not facing any charges. The owner, identified by HPD as the wife of Victor Cuevas. Cuevas, the man police say, placed a tiger in a white SUV and sped off last Sunday. Cuevas' attorney saying tonight that is false. I'm just baffled as to why HPD uh, has to try to make statements to fit a narrative that they want to portray. Neither one of those two were the owner. Linda McInvell, the wife of Jim McInvell, or Mattress Mac, released in a statement earlier today saying she assisted law enforcement in India's rescue. She said, quote, at Club Westside, we are a licensed facility with exotic animals, and the Cuevases had visited as guests of a past member where we became acquainted. She went on to say, I was able to arrange through the help of the Cuevases for the tiger to be located and anonymously delivered to us, In quote. Owning a tiger in Houston is illegal, but they are allowed in Harris County if registered, which is something Noel Almrod, the senior director at the sanctuary, says has to change. We are always pushing for stronger laws in Texas that would ban this outright. And Cuevas is still behind bars tonight at the Fort Bend County Jail. His bond was revoked on Friday on an unrelated 2017 murder charge. His new bond set at $300,000. Live in West Houston, Bill Barajas, KPRC, 2 News. Bill, thank you.